And this is the reason why this is a multi-purpose work area. I can change everything over to being a Photoshop editing um, lab if I need to. Like so. This is for the contest. My tripod's over yonder, like way, way over there. Um, but this is one of the photos that I'm using. I'm having to go in there and get rid of a little bit of extra garbage that the um, lens flare actually created. So give me a moment here. You can see how I do this here. So this is Las Vegas. Oh, this is really bad. This is really bad. This is Las Vegas. We got artifacts all over the place. We got this. We got that. This little piece right here is actually coming from over there, it looks like. This, I don't know where this flare is coming from, but it's messy in both situations. So what I'm going to do is just get rid of it. I'm going to use a stepping tool. I'm very good with a stepping tool. So I consider it to be my friend. And it's just a quick patch up. You know, you have a Joe J will might actually see it, but most people will, won't really cry too much about it, you know. Hey, I think I'm saying that wrong. Your average Joe and Jane is not going to notice it. Your professional will notice um, the blotching here and there. But, eh, this is just for a contest for, you know, amateurs like myself. So it's not going to be the worst thing. I actually have like 20-some photos open right now. And I'm using Photoshop CS6. Charlie Sam 6 Photoshop. Oh, this is a gorgeous photo here. Uh, this is actually pork belly. Oh my God, look at that. Hang on. Oh, it's so soft. Oh my God, there, there's this, oops. The move tool, no hand tool, I need the hand tool. There's nothing like pork belly. This is like a big chunk of bacon bacon so let me zoom out of this here real quick here and over here we've got mac and cheese oh my god with with like green onions on top and some other little crispy thingies oh my god it was so good <coughs> and hand tool move over here then over here we have um scallops oh my god scallops were just so tasty can you see that i can taste that in my mouth oh um i don't think this photo actually needs anything i'm just gonna this was just a really good shot there is no 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 sparkling no flaring up anything this is just a good photo i'm gonna leave this one on here and this is actually from my hotel room i zoom down in this one here This didn't turn out that well. I probably will not use this. I should have used a tripod to make it better. This is in Buffalo. Yeah, this is not gonna be used. That is unfortunate. Let me just go ahead and get rid of that. This is from Buffalo too. This is actually amazing. This is a night shot. And this is the beauty. Oh, there is a flare. There's one right there. Look at that. Let's zoom in real quick on this guy here. Yep, right there. That's I'm looking for these bad artifacts. And this is basically because of the lens flaring. Whoops. Oh my god. Uh, excuse me. Uh, technically I'm still sick. So I am not in the best of conditions right now. There we go. Uh, Z. Bring that back out. Oh, that's still very noticeable. Yeah. So we can just patch this up real quick here. There we go. Now I'll zoom into that right there. Okay, that's gone. This is actually um, the facade of a building. Someone painted this giant flower mural all across it. 
definitely with the permission of the person who owned the building. And it's just, it's beautiful. It really blends in with that artsy fartsy feel that you get in Buffalo. I mean, it's just, it's just amazing to see. There's a few beautiful murals laced all across the freaking city. If you're ever in Buffalo, you gotta check that out. This is another one of the exact same thing. The same flare over there. Doesn't look like it, but we got a little bit of extra light from some kind of side over here. So I'm gonna let this one stay as is. I ain't gonna mess with this one here. <coughs> Just squeeze over with the hand real quick. Yeah, there is no flare on this one here. That's that's impressive. Wonder why the first one caught it and the second one didn't. That's odd. But that's okay. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna drop this one here. There's no changes need to be made on that one. And this is ooh, this is um Lake Placid. Beautiful Lake Placid. Um there is uh Okay, so we got a little bit of jumbo stuff here, a little bit there, a little bit here. I think I'm gonna keep these two. I'm not gonna worry about that, but I will get rid of this one here. Only because it just doesn't. I probably should get rid of the other ones too, but you know, I'm not expecting to win anything for this here. So I'm just gonna kill these two here. Because even Apple said, you know, at the end of the day, if they like it, they're going to make some modifications to it anyway. So they may actually get rid of those too. If this is actually a, a contender. It could have been a contender. But that's how easily you can get rid of this stuff here. You hit the alt key. And once you hit the alt key, you will uh, basically suck in whatever's to the left of it. That's what, I told, that's what I'm telling it. You can make it to the left or the right or whatever. This is not a tutorial on how to use Photoshop. I just know how to, and I'm not gonna teach you. Unless you gave me a whole bunch of money, and I'll teach you how to use Photoshop and do this so easily. Ooh, 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 that is glaring. So I'm gonna go over here in the history real quick, change it back to just plain old open. Ooh, there's a lot of gradient in there. I don't like that. Okay, so let's, let's, let's get into this real quick here. I'm gonna hit Z, I'm gonna zoom. So this again is Lake Placid. This is a famous clock that's always been there since forever. Everything looks good. This is a good night mode photo, except for we have an artifact here, another one here, and we've gotta zoom in and get rid of these two artifacts. They don't belong there. But we got a dark blotch right here. So I could use this Band-Aid thing, I don't think it's gonna work out well. Oh, no, 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 the Band-Aid is working. Oh, the Band-Aid is working. I'm digging the Band-Aid, all right. I was using the Band-Aid earlier and it didn't work out so well, but the step was too obviously um, artificial. So I'm gonna go for the Band-Aid again. And there we go. Just patch this up. Even if you're getting rid of some stars, because believe it or not, the new camera can actually pick up stars. It's kind of creepy, but it's the starlight that's piercing through the clouds, and it can use that and basically uh, make it visible on your screen. It may not be what you're looking for. You may want a clear sky with no artifacts. And that's what we're trying to do right now. We're trying to get rid of all the little extra junk. There we go. There we go. That looks good. I'm gonna save this here. And I'm also going to end this video. That's work in progress. You don't need to see the rest of it. Um, that's it. Oh, that's a good shot. That's a really good shot. Look at that. That's an awesome shot.